Just going to do a little how to on fording some Mopar heads here. Uh, these are the 302, 318 heads. They're kind of special because they've got a modern heart shaped chamber. Uh, yeah, other than that, they just look like a regular 318 head. Haven't done anything to these ones yet except for cleaned up a couple of casting marks just for something to do and uh, cleaned up in the oil return holes there. My first move here is going to be on the intake side. I'm going to come in and do the bowl area and just um, take the bowl cut there right down to the seat. So to do that, I'm just going to come in with the kind of the cone here, just lay it light right like that and work my way around. And I'm going to bring it right down to where the seat is, try and open it up quite a bit. Take, going to take quite a bit of material out of it, so I'll show you the finished result after. So when doing this porting, got to have a lot of light just to see what's going on so you don't screw up. So I get the good old Moto Master crappy light here from Kanucky Stand Tire. i just lay it right on the port. You can see how much it lights it up. Yeah, really helps out. Another tip is to run a pressure regulator in line so you can control the speed of your die grinder. Because if you got that thing going too fast, you're uh, bound to make a mistake and cut into the seat or cut onto a machine surface. So this really helps out. And then you can turn up the speed as you go on, as you get better, so you can start cutting stuff faster. I also wanted to say that I'm not using any good tools here. These are kind of junk. Got the master crap die grinder from Kanaki Stand Tire. Nothing good. And I got these Chinese carbides here that I got off Amazon. Uh, I bought, I think, uh, five of them for 40 bucks, and they were super long. They were like eight inches long. And I chucked them up in the die grinder, and as soon as I started using them, they bent and turned into a windmill. Almost took my nose off. But what I did was I cut them down till they stopped uh, bending. And they work pretty good. I don't know. I use this one. This one's almost on a full set of heads. And it's doing pretty good. So, yeah, not a bad deal. So, I finished blending the bowl in. You can see it there compared to this one over here. Move the light over. Look at that one. Yeah. So yeah, that's our uh, that's our bowl blend, and I just got this uh, socket here for reference, so you can see what's going on, how much I've taken out. So that right there, you can see it just doesn't even go in, like not even remotely focus. There we go. But now over here, see how far it goes in. Just slides right in there. Won't go in. Here it'll go in. And I'll just give some highlights on what I did in here. So yeah, this went and cleaned around. Then I also blended the short side radius in there. You can see how smooth it is compared to that one. A little choppy. Smooth. So next thing I'm going to go and do is uh, profile the guide boss, which is right here on uh, the intake side here. So I'm going to come in with the ball end on my die grinder and just come in and round it off and really dig in and pull the material out and try and kind of make it to a point down here. Yeah, so that'll really free up some area in there and make it so the air can get in a lot better. I got the finished guide boss here, see what it looks like. Did what I wanted to, rounded it off, and then made my point in there, and really dug around in there. Really took a lot of material out. So, turned out good. My final step here for the intake side is I'm gonna gasket match this here. Now, in this head, it probably doesn't need a gasket match, but I'm gonna be running a 360 port size intake on here and I don't want to have that port mismatch in the wrong direction of flow 
so it's really going to be worth it to port these out to the gasket size. To do that, I'm going to sharpie this in here. You could put paint on there. I might actually do that. And I'm going to lay a gasket on it and scribe in the gasket marks. And then I'll have a good line to pour it out to. You can kind of see the marks out here with where the carbon is. Yeah, so after I'm done that, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, got it all gasket matched. Looking good. On these Mopar heads, you've got the push rod pinch, which is uh, why it's got the big bulge in there in the port. you got to be careful there because you don't want to bust through. If you do bust through, then you're going to have to do some epoxying. So to do... To make sure I didn't go through, I just laid a bolt in the push rod hole and eyeballed it from here and then scribed it so I could tell where the end of the push rod bulge is. And then I ported it out to the line. You can see the line right there that I made. Yeah, so that's it for the intake side. Next, we'll be doing the exhaust. So, uh, for the exhaust, I already started on this head, but I'll show you what the plan is. The plan is to do the same thing with the bulb blending on this port. Come in there with the cone and round it out, which I've already done on this one here. You can see it's opened up a fair bit as we did on the intake side, and it's a lot smoother. Next, what I want to do is come in and blend out this hump in the exhaust port. Uh, I think they put it here for the coolant passage, so I'm going to be really careful. Just going to take off enough, kind of, kind of eyeball it, take off enough so where I think it's going to improve flow. And yeah, that's the plan for that. I got them blended out there, you can see it. And that's all I'm going to do for the exhaust side now. Don't want to get too carried away with the exhaust side because it's easy to screw it up. Thanks for watching.